This is the second part of the statistics and data integrity video. So we left off the last video um, talking about motive, how we always want to look at the motive for why an article was written. And so we had this example and the title of the article was vaccines being labeled as the new gateway drug to heroin. And what we saw was this was released by Feminist Against Vaccinations. And so this is a group that might have an agenda related to the article's headline. And so we're going to want to proceed with caution. Other things that we might want to look for when we look at this um, article to see whether or not it's trustworthy is notice that there's several misspellings. Again, remember that good news sources are going to have journalists and editors and they're going to be looking for typos and misspellings, you know, formatting errors. I mean, and that's not to say that these things never make it through on good publications, but you're more likely to see them um, in articles that really aren't that trustworthy. Also notice this is a questionable source. You know, this isn't one that we hear about from a lot, so we might want to look into that as well. Also, there's provocative terminology and an uncredited photo. So notice these are all things that should cause a red flag before we would want to trust an article making this claim. So there's always other sources of bias that can occur. So first of all, ask yourself, what is your opinion of climate change? So just ask yourself that. Um, obviously, keep your answer to yourself because we're on a video. Um, these slides are often used in the classrooms. Now, ask yourself which of these articles you would be most likely to read. So say, let's suppose these are presented to you and ask yourself which one you think, oh, I'd probably read that one first. And so one of them is titled Five Reasons Why Climate Change is a Hoax. And the other one is Scientists Find Even More Evidence That Climate Change is Real. All right, now answer honestly. So how many of you chose the article that most resembled the, your opinion on climate change? Most people are going to gravitate towards articles and stories that reinforce their current beliefs instead of challenging their beliefs. And this is what we call confirmation bias. And so we want to be careful because we tend to read things that already agree with um, what we think and it kind of causes this what's known as an echo chamber. And so what happens is we don't go out and look at other you know, sources or look at other um, viewpoints. And so all of us are subject to confirmation bias to one degree or another, and it's just something that we want to be aware of. So confirmation bias is the tendency to search for, interpret, favor, and recall information in a way that confirms one's pre-existing beliefs or hypotheses, while giving disproportionately less consideration to alternative possibilities. And today, with all of the information that's available, confirmation bias is a bigger problem than ever. And it's reinforced by social media feeds and internet searches. So what statisticians do to avoid these mistakes in academic studies? We generally look for peer collaboration and pilot studies. We use what's known as an IRB, which is an institutional review board. We peer review articles. And the goal is to correctly design studies is to gain an accurate view of properties of the population. So in other words, we're trying to avoid all of these different types of bias in academic studies to give the clearest picture of what's going on. And the scientific method is one way that helps make you know, valid inference from studies. And I'll let you read this on your own, but this is just kind of an overview of what the scientific method says. So again, the whole goal of this module and really this course is to give you a set of tools so that when you go out in the real world, you can critically think about the information that's presented to you and you can catch bad information as well as you know, spot information that's good and trustworthy.